What's up YouTubers? Uber Driver 101 here. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and discuss how you can get paid for long trip return miles. All right? Now, everyone knows most of the time if you take a long trip, you're not going to get paid back. Now, what I mean by doing this is that if this takes you out of your normal operating zone, which means when you drop this person off, all of a sudden it says you can't go online in this area because that's not your market anymore. So, what you have to do is make an agreement with the passenger beforehand. Now, let's use this as an example. You pull up to a passenger's house, you go to pick them up. Of course, we can't see where they wanna go beforehand. So you go ahead and you hit start trip. And when you see the start trip, it's like, you know, it's taking you two hours away. And you're like, oh, that's cool, you know. You get a long trip, which is usually, you know, good pay, but they always have those dead miles to uh, come back because you can't pick anybody up. So. What you want to do is you go ahead and you look at it and you say, you know, ma'am, sir, you say, I can go ahead and I can do this trip for you, but I can't operate on the way back because it's out of my district. So we can we come to some kind of agreement that you let me keep the app on, you know, till I get back into my operating range, you know, which is, you know, feasible and no, nothing wrong at all with asking this question because it's a long trip and like I said you're not going to get paid because you can't pick anybody up now the passenger you know doesn't want to agree to that whatever you can just politely say okay well I can't do this trip go ahead and cancel the trip hit no charge passenger you know because technically you could have took them yes I know you want a cancellation fee because it did waste your time and everything but the ethical thing I would think to do was just cancel it say I'm sorry and move on to the next one now if they do agree with this you go ahead and have them you you tight uh you message them in the app okay because this way because you don't want just a written agreement or anything like that because that can still be disputed now you go ahead and message them in the app saying that we just agreed that after i drop you off at point a you're going to go ahead and agree to having me keeping the app on till i get to this point point b you might not always get all the way back to where you started or you know your, your desired area but as long as you're back in your operating area and you can go ahead and turn the app on and receive a ride that still seems fair and the rest of the miles you just write off as dead miles at the end of the year so after you go ahead and text them this in the app they'll go ahead and respond saying they do agree and that way you have that all documented on uber's app so there would be no chance of them being able to try to dispute it later and you know you end up losing the entire fare and you get really upset because I've seen that happen to people they tried to keep it on without asking because in the term of service for even the riders it will say that you may be charged an extra amount for long trip uh, returns but since a lot of people don't do it it's just a lot of headache to go through to try to make sure you get paid so doing it this way will ensure that it was okayed by the passenger and uber has all that information so that way you have nothing to worry about now I definitely recommend don't try to abuse it and go even further especially if it's like surgeon you know what I'm saying if you've got a a nice two four time surge going all the way there then I might not even ask for a return I'm just like eh, whatever but it doesn't hurt to ask if that's how you feel because it's within your right since you cannot operate in whatever area you're dropping them off so definitely remember text them in the app have them respond agreeing in the app okay always cover yourself i hope this video was helpful and informative to people like comment subscribe go ahead and look in the description below for the uber lyft driver 101 group i got the uber driver uh 101 page on facebook as well and of course this youtube channel well i hope everyone has a great day stay safe out there and remember this is okay to ask, so don't worry on asking. Have a great day, Uber and Lyft on.